it's been about five years since and like I'm I still have PTSD and yes I did have a near-death experience I would never wish toxic shock syndrome on anybody I don't care who it is if I hate them never it's categorized as rare but never once in my life did I think that I would go through something like that it's very real and the symptoms and tattletale symptoms is definitely you have like a sunburn rash like underneath your armpits and in the groin area to which my mom and I thought was just a heat rash and other than like flu-like symptoms. It all started when I was having like flu-like symptoms and we thought it was the flu until it progressively got worse to the point where I couldn't walk and my body felt numb and my mom had to drag me to the bathroom and about three days later from feeling bad, like ill, we decided we're, we're gonna go to the ER. And then from there, they did everything and then I was aeromedded to Helen DeVos Children's Hospital to where I was in a room and doctors were rushing everywhere, doctors and nurses. And I remember looking to the nurse to my left and to my right being like, I'm scared. And they're like, it'll be okay. And I was then put in a medically induced coma because they had no idea what was going at that point. They had me in a medically induced coma until the point where it was, they needed to do something or else I was gonna pass. Which a medically induced coma turned into ECMO life support and dialysis. They gave me about a 50% chance to come off ECMO. They originally had, a, had it cantilevered right there on my neck, but it was putting too much pressure on my heart, blood-wise, and so they had to put a hole between my two ventricles of my heart, and then it just wasn't working, so then they had to go into my groin, so I have two gnarly-looking scars, like, in my groin. And doctors have said that I was teeter-tottering life and death and they had thought that I would have to go to a rehabilitation center, which I somehow did not have to. I passed everything, but I did miss most of my sophomore year of high school. And for about three years straight, it was nonstop doctor's appointments. And today I have an irregular heartbeat with extra heartbeats, and I have blood flow problems with my legs. And I've also had multiple surgeries to help fix a lot of the things. Oh my god, that's really horrific. You know, you do hear about toxic, so um, toxic shock syndrome, but you don't actually hear a survivor's story. And I think that's like really eye-opening and wet, and like a lot of awareness in that video. You know, like she said, like she's heard it before and it's really rare to have, but when you do hear it, it's like, it's a horrific story. Like I remember I was in middle school and it was about the age that I was like most with girls and women in my class were getting their periods. And my, I remember my teacher saying like, you know, she knows this story. When I was like 12 years old, so it's like mentally scarring in your head. And apparently like a police officer had a tampon in and she didn't remove it in like I think it was like 12 hours or something because oh, she's on patrol and she couldn't like go to the bathroom because she was so busy and she just collapsed on the beach while trying to get someone from toxic shock, toxic shock syndrome and she passed away and I remember when I was little and I heard that story I was like I'm never ever using tampon until this day I never use one because it's just something that you hear these stories and it's so scary and it's something that us women don't talk about enough and I think you know with her making this video talking about her experience it has made me so formative by it you know the symptoms she said she had, the recovery, life, and she was tick like Dr. Lich told her she was tickling life or death. They didn't know whether she was gonna survive or she's gonna pass away or she's gonna live. Like, they just didn't know. And I think just hearing that story was just really like gut wrenching. A lot of women do struggle with period pains, endometriosis. You know, you've got you've got struggling with baby, you know what I'm trying to say. And then you've got stuff like um, irregular periods and irregular bleeding, contraception, protection, and menstrual cups that also can cause toxic shock. Tampons is the biggest one. And period pads, as annoying as it is, and it just rubs your sides and it's uncomfortable, it's like feeling like a nappy. I would happily wear a pair period pad for the rest of my life than have a tampon because you do get stuff like this and it's easily done though like a lot of women are just so busy and they use a tampon because they have heavy periods 
and sometimes because they're so busy they don't have time to remove it and a lot of people watch this and be like oh we'll set a time on your phone and it's difficult you know